rock and roll y'all and welcome back in the last couple of videos we talked about the extrum and the microphone assignments page okay now i would like to go ahead and give you a couple of basic ideas as to what you might be able to do with the extrum so let's go ahead and get started by creating a new extrum and then i'd like to choose something from i don't know let's go ahead and grab the twisted kit and now let's go ahead and choose an instrument i'm gonna just grab uh clangers too there we go the old bunt cake pan that's me ha <laughs> ha all right now what i want to do is i want to show you something real quick if we go into the microphone assignment page you're going to see that there are two x drum mics for the mixer mics okay we have this one right here on the 1176 mic and then we have overheads on the overhead mic in the mixer okay now the reason i'm showing you this is because while it sounds good as is, I want the cake pan to have its own channel, okay? I want to be able to do some special things to it later on. So I'm going to go ahead and clear all of this out, all right, by resetting it. Now, once I do that, there is no sound from my cake pan because we haven't used any of the drum mics for that extra. Follow? So now I want to go ahead and grab uh, the overhead. Let's go ahead and do the overhead. And we're going to create a new one by dropping it on that column. And there you go. We got X1-OH. So let's go ahead and press OK. And we sound good. Let's go ahead and check out the Easy Mixer real quick. And right down here, you'll see X1 overhead. OK, and let's see. Yep, looking good. This way, we can go ahead and pull it to the center if we want. Or I could put it all the way to the right. Just like that there. OK, it's kind of up to me at this point. Now I'm good, right? Almost. I still need to go ahead and assign a key to it. You see right now, there's nothing assigned, and I won't be able to play that instrument, and I want to be able to, you know, play with it. So since we don't have a key assigned to the cake pan yet, there are a couple things we can do. We could go ahead and press the learn function right here, and then just press a key on the keyboard, or we could go ahead and do some MIDI mapping. And we'll get to that later on. Or we could go ahead and try the MIDI. Let's try Steel Default real quick, okay? All right, now B5 just appeared. Let's go ahead and get into the Help menu real quick. Let's come on down to the Twisted Kit, MIDI Layout. And now, if you'll recall from one of the last videos, we spoke about Stealing Default. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what B5 is real quick. I'm scooting over here and right here. Look at that there. Cake Pan, B5. So, that's what it did. It took the default mapping from the Twisted Kit, just as I explained earlier, okay? So now I'm ready to start rocking and rolling and making my song. And that's one example. Let me go ahead and show you another example. Let's clear this out real quick. And next, let's say that we've got a symbol, a particular symbol that I want to be able to control separate from the overheads right there. What do you do? Well, let's just say it's this one right here, which happens to be symbol number one. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a new X drum. And we're going to pull this from the avatar library. We're going to go ahead and choose our instrument, which is going to be symbol one. And now, got the same thing going on, right? So let's go ahead and get into the microphone assignment real quick. All of the mics are assigned just like the original symbol one. But I want to go ahead and have it on its own channel. So let's go ahead and reset this. And then I want to grab the overhead channel right here. Same thing as we did a moment ago with the cake pan. And drop it on the new column. Now I have X1-OH. So let's press OK and see what it is. Right there. Let's go into our easy mixer, X1-OH. There we are. All right. So instead of the left-hand side, let's go ahead and pan it hard right. So now that we've got this one panned right like we want it, I no longer want to hear that coming in the left. So let's go ahead and find the key it's on. It's on E2, okay, right there. I'm using my keyboard now, by the way. So let's go ahead and right-click our X drum to make sure that we have it chosen. Let's come on down here and let's try Learn. And then now E2, instead of that one, is our new X drum. Now, granted, I'm exaggerating the example, but I wanted you to get the point. Should you decide that there's something that you want to pan, you can. 
So that gives you a couple of ideas of what you can do with the Ekstrom. Okay, now I want y'all to stick around because over the course of the next few videos, there's going to be some other uses of the Ekstrom, okay? I appreciate you watching. Hope it helped you out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.